For my Making the World a Better Place video, I went off the concept, love your neighbor as yourself. This summer, my church held a free garage sale to help people in need. Along with what was donated to the garage sale, we also gave out water bottles and snacks. Whatever was donated to the free will offer offering was put into my church's playground fund to help build a new playground. And whatever was left over from the garage sale was donated to the DAV. The voters here in Roseau County have asked me to help them solve a problem with the problem land here in Roseau County. And you seem to be the experts that address the things that they most want to know about. There are some people up here that are just a little bit different. Okay. And we had one of our very different people come up here with how many pounds of dynamite and just, no one can explain it, but just set it off and blew up this tract of land. Thank you, Joe, for that introduction. Uh, to the rest of the people at this meeting today, my name is Jeff Birch. I'm a zoologist from the university. And... Uh, uh, thank you for that introduction, Joe. Uh, when you talk about this land being a wasted land and things, in my perspective as a zoologist, we don't always look at something in, in human terms. We want to look at the na natural and nature of the benefits that we see with the nature. We have a, a lot of very, very unique areas here that can be developed, and I think our number one uh, priority in, in with my uh, constituents is for the preservation of all the wildlife that is out there. I'm the uh, County 4-H uh, representative and my idea for this waste, wasted blown up 500 acres of land is to make it into a fun like huge amusement park and a tourist attraction. I'm Gretchen Miller. I'm glad to be here because I am the park ranger for this land that this gentleman from Roseau County blew up and very upset about that and we need to do a lot of work to get this land back to um, to a place where people can come and they can camp and there needs to be trails put back in there and uh, we have just a lot of work to put in this land. I really don't think we need to um, just leave it come back by itself because there's a lot of work we need to do to develop it. Oh. Thank you all for the, the, the good ideas, and we want to do everything possible for our citizens, our tax-paying citizens, right, who already feel overburdened and really don't want to spend any more money on something, especially a wasted piece of land. Okay, so we got to find some money. Right. Respectfully, That's my Joe, job. Let's, let's not call it a wasted piece of land because it really isn't a wasted piece of land and we, we, we shouldn't always be involved with money. It's always money that we're talking about. There's more to this beautiful piece of property that has great potential than, than money and, and calling it a wasteland. Let's just have a rational discussion here. Let's talk about our ideas. Well, obviously, my idea is the best. I mean, it's a park, and we no need to way. do some work on no this way. thing. Let's think it's about nature. Right. No. It's no. Both of you hey, hey, no. Fun, fun, is fun is the best. No. Like, I mean, doesn't, 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 fun's yeah. the best. Yeah. 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 Ye
Look at this! Giggles. I can't, a see, you. I can't see you. I'm, I'm a nature. I don't tell you what I will. My grandma better than that. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. We, we have to deal with nature. I don't think so. We need trails. You all be quiet. I'll give you ice cream. We don't need to fight. Every idea is a good idea. Alright, all right. let's just see if we can put our ideas together, the good ones. Everybody's as happy as I am with the way we put these good ideas together. Because you no, guys all stopped fighting. That's oh, all wow. Awesome. Thank you. Wonderful. Even me? Yeah. Even Thank you. Let's have a toast. <laughs> toast ice cream toast. Good teamwork. Ooh. Teamwork. Nice. Mm. Oh, excellent. We get a lot of animals from people that no longer want their pets for a variety of reasons, either divorce sometimes, moving to a nursing home, moving to property that doesn't have pets of it, uh, allowed. Um, we get about 360 to 370 dogs in per year, about a dog a day. We get animal control dogs, we get, we get strays, we get abandoned dogs that arrive here. We also transfer dogs in from other states. We get a lot of our dogs from Texas. They are a rather high kill state. And they also do not spay and neuter a lot down there. So they have a lot of unwanted puppies and, and cats. We don't take cats from there, but, but we could if we had lots of room. Um, we get about 600 to 700 cats in the shelter per year. And again, they come from unwanted litters, people that can no longer keep them because of a move or divorce or a variety of reasons, sometimes money issues. Um, we adopt out healthy animals that, that need homes here at the shelter.
rescue uh, mainly because there's so many horses in the world that need homes. Yeah, so my name is Anna Hill. I'm a two-star paralyzed professional and I live in Zerman, Minnesota. I have four horses. I have Pip, who is a 16-year-old paint fox trotter mare. Um, she's black and white and she's my highest level horse. And then I have Grace, who is a seven-year-old Holsteiner mare. She is a rescue from the Minnesota Hood Animal Rescue. I've had her two and a half years, and she's all black. And then I have Neva, who is a 15-year-old thoroughbred mare. She's off the track. She's from a rescue in Florida. She's a bay mare. And then we have Daisy, who is a 18-year-old pony mare. She's brown and white. What are some of the changes in the personalities that you've seen since you rescued them? Daisy has become a lot more lovable and a lot sweeter. Um, Grace has become a lot less explosive and she's a lot more ready to snuggle. She loves to cuddle and have her butt scratched and she's very willing to spend time with you now. And Neva has come from dangerous to pretty amicable. She's not real cuddly yet, but she is happy to be around humans. How has Pirelli helped all these horses? Uh, Pirelli has brought out the best in them. So in Pirelli we treat horses really individual and really focus on foundation instead of specialization. So helping them find areas that they're not as confident in and growing the confidence or if they're not as responsive as we need them to be. Um, so it helps them be the best horses they can be through different exercises and understanding and treating them more as a horse instead of a human because humans really like to treat animals like predators like we are, like dogs and cats work really well with us but horses can be so different. So when we treat horses like they're actually horses and they're prey animals, it brings out the best in each horse. Why have you chosen to rescue and do you feel it was a good decision? I chose to rescue uh, mainly because there's so many horses in the world that need homes. And if they're good sound horses, then I can fix anything that is behavioral. And so it, it gives you a certain sense of pride when you know that they wouldn't have had a life if you hadn't taken them in, or they could have possibly been put down, which is what would have happened to all three of them if I hadn't taken them.